Welcome to another episode of Pickups by Remember the Great Sports. Uh, I'm going to share with you some things that I recently just picked up off of eBay and I got them for a real cheap price so I thought I'd share them with you. The first thing I want to share with you, and this is actually, uh, I got a three count lot of these and I only paid five dollars plus shipping for them and it is a 1966 Cardinals photo autograph folder and this is the first year of Bush Stadium 2 and the back side has the Cardinals roster on it and the inside actually you can see it off to the side here I have another one is it folds out into this awesome awesome thing here and I actually had an oversized 11 by 17 top loader that I decided to flatten it out in and show it off to you and on the reverse side you can see that's my sign and on the reverse side you can see what it looks like flattened out but like I said I, I picked up multiple of these in the lot so as you can see this is a very unique collectible from 1966 you know this is you know something that was unique and the price was just too good to pass up and uh, some of the most notable names on here you know you're going to see multiple Hall of Famers on this is you have Bob Gibson right there you have Red Shanings up there in the top left corner sorry about the glare there I'll try to fix that so you can see it better um, also Lou Brock is right up here at the top and should be Hall of Famer Kurt Flood is also on here uh, Hall of Famer Orlando Cepeda is also up here when he was with the St. Louis Cardinals uh, Tim McCarver who could be arguably a Hall of Famer as well is also on here but I thought this was a really really neat piece to pick up in addition that seller I also picked up uh, as you know, I've featured these on my channel before. This is a Vince Coleman signed envelope or cash that they call them. Gateway cache or um, ga gateway autographs is another term that I've seen these called. Um, these are actually signed by the athlete depicting you know a certain event in their career. Um, in this case, this is when Vince Coleman set a rookie stolen base record. You know on this date August 1st 1985 so that's another item that I picked up from this seller and this was ten dollars and this other item I picked up from a different seller but this was around ten or eleven dollars shipped to my door and that is of Baltimore Orioles Hall of Famer Eddie Murray on a 1983 action all-star and if you remember, um, I do collect these. These are the oversized cards. And just to give you a comparison, Jimmy Williams here. That's the size of the card compared to a regular card. And I picked this up really cheap. You know, I was looking for a cheap Eddie Murray autograph. I saw this on eBay. You know, shipped to my door. It was like 10, 12 bucks. I, I just couldn't pass it up. So, hope you enjoyed the video. You know, a couple neat collectible items, including these Cardinal program folders from back in the day. You know, also the two autographs from two legends of the 80s in baseball. Look forward to your comments below, and as always, happy collecting.